What's up gamers, it's your boy Fat Dallas aka Mr. Tutty Tutty bringing you some Madden 18 Ultimate Team gameplay and your boy is feeling a little sick, a little under the weather, ain't been able to pump the videos out to y'all man, but I'm feeling a little better than I was yesterday and I should be feeling way better by this weekend so I should be able to bring y'all videos, tips, screams, all that good stuff man, but if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button all the tutty tutty gang go ahead and drop a big fat like on this video i'm gonna walk y'all through yesterday's gameplay the file got corrupted the audio and the face cam got desynced so i'm just gonna walk y'all through it man it was a game that came down to the wire ea was in the gameplay hold my opponent's hand but i gotta give him a little bit of credit because he was making good playmaker calls you know what i mean when he needed to finding open receivers he was able to avoid the pressure you know i like to be real aggressive on defense so i gotta give him credit in that part but also if you've been seeing on twitter about rex saying what do you want implemented into competitive mode this is your chance to go on twitter make sure you follow me too at fat dallas ent but this is a chance to get your voice heard man we're trying to get the game as real life as possible all the triple coverage catches we want out of there d-line users out of there previous play limited you know i think that you should be able to do a full drive and if you are dotting up a defense then you should be able to either uncover what the defense is doing or uncover what the offense is doing but you can see in the gameplay right now we are starting to see pressure and i am getting hyped man because some games and i realize when i win like six to eight games in a row the player isn't better but the game is harder it's like ea is right there like uh we gonna give this a momentum swing you gonna have to play extra hard you gonna have to play like 99 percent perfect in this game in order to walk away with a w man so that's kind of what i'm going through right now my opponent takes the lead right there with a field goal he's kicking it off to me and we got to put together a game winning drive now i like the pressure you know i i'm a clutch person i like the clutch factor i should get a kim that say clutch on it you know and everybody that's part of the teddy teddy game i'm trying to make sure that y'all all feel the same way man don't fold under pressure just stick to what you know read the defenses always come out and watch a safety safety dropping back safety going to the right safety going to the left them are key elements to let you know cover two cover three man coverage all that type of good stuff man back pedaling side shifting that lets you know right away after a uh, post snap what kind of coverage they is you see me dialing up a hottie 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 right there man and we are going down the field trying to avoid going out of bounds because all i need is a field goal to tie the game up i don't want to throw a pick i don't want to get a fumble i just want to go down the field take my shot in the end zone or take my three points and go into overtime right here we coming up with the plate action and i'm just gonna throw it off short hit a juke right there go to the inside and tony g picks up a crucial crucial first down the clock is still moving now i know sooner or later my opponent is gonna go into bum mode that's when you drop like nine or ten in coverage so we hurrying it up, hurrying up. I'm trying to keep him in that defensive formation and see just how good he is at making adjustments on the fly. You know your boy is a beast when it comes to making adjustments on the fly. And all I need to see right here, here's that uh, bum coverage a little bit. He was only sending three on that one. So more and more, he dropping more people back. Eventually, on the next play, I think it is, he only going to uh, send two people at me. So it's go I'm going to have to scramble out the bone, not force a throw. I mean, nine people in coverage against three wide receivers. This is the play right here. I just scramble. I realize there's one guy right there, one in front of me. I just run out of bounds, hold the ball. That right there let me know that his defensive line is either dropping back in spies or he got all his linebackers with a deep blue and yellow. So on the next play, I outsmarted him. I audible right into a run, hit a quick little fancy ooh, 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 through the middle of the hole and LT goes in for a touchdown and didn't leave him too much time on the clock to be able to do anything because my 3-4 has been giving up a lot of deep plays when the playmaker is uh, being active but as far as the initial pressure making him scramble out of the pocket it's been successful as you can see on this play he gonna come out and dial up a dot and then I'm gonna say you know what 
forget having seven people in zone. We're going to send six or seven on the next two plays. So right here, there's the dot right there. And right here, you can see me in my face cam. I'm like, uh-uh. He getting too much time in the pocket to try to dissect my defense. Can't have this happening. So I'm going to dial up that blitz. I'm going to send it off the right edge, off the left edge, and through the middle. And I want to see if he can make a good adjustment. Right here, here he is, getting ready to hike the ball. He drops back, and the pressure gets to him and folds him down. He has to burn another timeout. Now he only has one chance to throw up a prayer. You know Madden is all about prayers, and we're trying to get away from that. But if y'all enjoy the uh, voiceover, let me know in the comment section. If y'all ready for the live cane plays, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this to about 30, 35 likes, and that'll let me know that y'all ready, just like I'm ready. Let's go.